Hi, fellas. Ben back again. But this one is not going to be about Ben. <laughs> this one is going to be about the new Sherpa, the 452. Um, so, some more uh, goods have arrived. And this one is a big thank you to Mr. Madan and the team of Prospec because uh, they have been uh, kind enough to send me these goods. And uh, this, is, this video is truly, um, I would not want to call it sponsored by and all that jazz. This is truly a big thank you to uh, the team of Prospec because they uh, reached out to me and they sent me these uh, wonderful uh, goods. Well, um, this is the wind deflector, like uh, an add-on to uh, the existing windshield because the windshield that you have on the bike does absolutely nothing post 90, 100 kilometers an hour. Um, there's no wind deflection and as a motor vlogger it's a must that you have something uh, which uh, kind of aids in uh, cutting uh, noise and wind buffeting um, so that you know you can you can really talk on your onto your microphone and uh, you will be heard <laughs> so uh, yeah Prospec has this uh, dedicated design this one is uh, dedicated for the Himalayan is because of these um, what do you call them? The mounting points, uh, which are pretty close to each other. All the uh, other models, these mounting uh, uh, points are a little spaced apart uh, to accommodate for wider uh, windshields. But because the Himalayan has this really narrow contoured windshield, they had to uh, go in for a dedicated one. Uh, mounting clamps, uh, um, not just the mounting clamps, but also the, uh, uh, the design of the wind deflector is also brand new. Uh, pretty wide and pretty uh, tall if you ask me um, Aesthetically and uh, not to my liking. I'm definitely gonna work on it uh, I'm definitely going to try and uh, kind of manipulate the shape just to make it look uh, Slightly better. It isn't as bad as one would guess from the pictures uh, the pictures were a little uh, uh, Misleading I would say on the bike. I, I don't know if the video is going to be capturing uh, how this looks as well, but on the bike uh, you know when you view it uh, like in uh, real it's so much better so much more uh, uh, nice looking as a product very well finished uh, yeah a, a slightly thicker gauge acrylic um, would make for a big difference but then again this is just a wind deflector it's not the primary uh, windshield so in case of a crash this is definitely going to jump off the uh, windshield it's not going to be uh, cracking um, that I know for a fact is because I've tried the windshield the wind deflector on Ben a million times on off-road terrain and every time the bike falls down this just comes loose it doesn't crack so uh, yeah that way not a big uh, um, deal breaker very high de uh, quality high density plastic for the uh, mounting brackets and all that so no complaints there now uh, the wind deflector is going to definitely help me uh, make uh, good videos without the wind buffeting getting to my microphone Wow, this is this is the deal. This is the real deal, fellas. This is something that you all should get. Um, well, if you guys know that I have had uh, one installed on Ben. Ben has a brake um, foot pedal uh, footrest extender, and uh, that was a metal one, uh, which kind of raised the height by about one centimeter. Whereas this, what this does is this raise. Uh, this is a two-platform. Uh, um, foot peg, sorry, uh, brake lever um, um, footrest, double platform. So what you can do is when you, the, the best part of this is Yeah, so as you guys saw you can ride on the balls of your feet like for typical off-road stance you know push back your ankle so that there's enough flexibility and just tap the brake with the top of your boots very easy to reach the brake with the top of your boots and then the regular uh, riding posture you can get to the lower platform pretty comfortably your leg can be can be placed there without really pressing on the brake very wide nice and wide platform i would say this is this is definitely a must uh, for all of you fellas um, who uh, really want to, you know, uh, improve your braking, um, 
uh, yeah, I'm not going to be saying that Royal Enfield uh, has any issues with braking, but a multi-platform uh, style braking setup is any given day more suited for uh, off-road and on-road riding than just a flat um, uh, level uh, braking system. That way, I'll have to keep making tweaks here to get the brake lever uh, to work for me. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have seen this on Ben, I had this installed and this does the same thing. If you have, uh, if you see this, this is a dub double platform too, but sadly my boot can never really grab onto that. This isn't wide enough, this platform. It's just a thin uh, upper lip of sorts. Uh, whereas this kind of increased the height of the braking platform, the height by about one centimeter. So a nice thick wide platform for the upper level and then the same applies to the lower level, nice and wider. So when you sit and ride, you can be pressing on that when you need it. And then when you go back um, while you stand up and riding, uh, well stand up and ride, you can just really tap on that much to get your braking brake to work. So that is a serious upgrade that I would recommend. The windshield deflector is not for everyone. This is only for people who are about five, uh, eight, five, nine and above. Then again, your torso to your legs. Uh, the proportion uh, matters so if you have a, a longer upper body like a longer torso uh, and your legs are comparatively smaller uh, you would definitely need this if you're five eight and above um, if you have a shorter torso and your legs are longer then i don't think you uh, really need this this is uh, uh, this windshield is good enough for a hundred ninety hundred kilometers an hour anything more video logging yes you will definitely want a a taller windshield and either you get the rally windshield the rally windshield again is a narrow setup so i don't know how much of wind deflecting that will do uh, or you get this fella this fellow uh, i just have to sit on it and make it look slightly better we'll uh, definitely do that and make a dedicated video yep so that's the prospect products that are on the motorcycle